But a lot of like Aunt Queen now. I'm figuring out, okay? I'm figuring out. I'm not sure why it took me that long. Uh, every week, now I eat it up. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's Trinity Elise, but people also call me Trin. And today we're going to discuss the hair. So on this channel, we do lifestyle, faith, all forms of health. So if that suits your vibe, click the like and subscribe button. And yeah, let's hang. Okay, okay. I've been curled natural for about eight months now, I guess six to eight months. And I have to catch y'all up, you know? Y'all a little bit late. Got a lot of like, I used to have locks, and I'ma dive deeper into why I comb them out. Well, how how am I taking care of my hair now? I had my locks for about five to six years. I got five. I got them for I had them for about five years. Okay, I was just tired of doing my natural hair. My hair was breaking off. It was damaged. It was dry from the heat and the sun. Whatever I was doing in high school, I was out in the sun a lot, and my hair would break off. So in order to counteract that, I was like, I'ma just put them in locks and I'm gonna be done with it. My family already had locks, my mom, my sister had locks, my aunts had locks, so it wasn't that big of a deal to me. I used their loctician and boom, locks were in, locked in for five years. <laughs> I actually did enjoy them. I loved the black, um, the black locks I had and one of the things I wanted to do before I got rid of my locks was dye them. I'm having the itch to have my curls back. Let's dye them so I can just get that out of my system before I move forward. That's when about a couple months ago, you'll see on my channel that I went through me trying to dye my locks and that was a whole process to watch that back um, for how I did that. That was one of the reasons I just wanted my curls back. I'm not really connected to my hair like that. A lot of people with locks have a spiritual, emotional connection with their locks and it makes them harder for them to cut them off. The girl didn't just snip, snip, take some scissors to her head. No, I comb mine out, okay? If you're interested in knowing more about how I went about doing that, leave that in the comments how that they serve their purpose and I'm a confident queen now <laughs> I didn't need them so I shed my skin when I got into locks I really didn't like my natural foil foil pattern it wasn't really that popular then as it is now people didn't really love curl heads they said they did but truthfully no you didn't um, and now it's the trend now and so it just makes it easier to kind of transition back into curls when everyone likes them. I wanted my curls back and I was like, I'm gonna learn to love my natural curl pattern. I knew I didn't have the 3A, 3Cs that everyone's raving over, but natural black hair is beautiful at any texture, at any whatever coil pattern, it's beautiful throughout the whole spectrum. So I was like, I'm gonna learn to love my hair. And that was the purpose. That was the purpose of getting my curls back, really. Coming them out, I still was able to keep some of the dye my locks had. I did a retouch with the color, because you see this change in the black to brown? I don't really like that. It's fulu, it's trash. I'm still working to try to figure out what color I want to dye it to. I'm figuring out, okay? I'm figuring out. <laughs> it took about four months to comb my locks out. That's on and off progress. For a month, I'm pretty sure I didn't touch my locks at all. COVID one day, I was thinking about cutting my locks out and I was like, since I'm in quarantine now, I might as well start. I have seven days to myself to do anything. Let's start coming my locks out. And since that point in August of 2023, up until October of 2023, it took me that long to finish out the process and retain as much hair as I did. When you're transitioning from your locks to your curls, you have to retrain your hair into that state. The first two to three months, almost the first six months, my hair was still natural or it was still in the habit of locking. So even when I had my natural curls out, they'd still get really knotted. They'd still lock up pretty quickly in about a week's time span because that's what my hair was used to doing for five years. It took about a good six months for my hair to get used to this new routine, this, this new maintenance amount, these new products because lock products and natural hair products Two different things, baby. Wanting an inexpensive style, go with the locks. If you want to spend more money, and then yeah, curls seems like it suits you more. In order to skip over that process, I went to a curl specialist. She was able to, I'm gonna link her or put her information right here because she she ate it up, left no crumbs. She ate it up, left no crumbs. I left knowing exactly how to take care of my hair 
what did I need to do to retain lift, keep it moisturized, to treat the colored hair I have, and how to just love my curls in general. That appointment with me leaving, loving my hair as short as it was, not thinking I was gonna like it as short as I got it cut. And that was November of 2023. And now let's insert a picture of what my hair is looking like now. I got that much growth from using her routine, doing her steps, then being consistent with it. And my hair was able to grow and fill out that amount just by being consistent. I love my curls. I like the volume it gives me. It shapes my face. It can take me three hours to knock out my deep conditioning, four hours to do the full wash day. For some reason, it's, but it took me six hours to do my locks and I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why it took me that long. This isn't like that for a bunch of lock-a-nights, I'll call them. <laughs> it doesn't take them six hours to do their locks. A lot lighter than locks. When I had all my locks taken out, it felt like a weight was just yanked off the back of my head, boy. I wasn't used to it. <laughs> I was like, do I have hair on my head right now? Because I'm really not feeling nothing. I'm not feeling nothing on my head. Am I bald? Now we're going to start moving forward into what protective styles I do, how I maintain my hair, my length, my routine, how I eat it up every week, how I eat it up. I um, sleep with it to make sure it's easy and manageable because on a day-to-day basis, the curls are very manageable on a day-to-day -day basis. It's kind of just the wash routine that you got to perfect. Starting your locks, great for you babes. I have a couple tips for you to help you with that because although I'm a retired lock person or whatever, grow my locks out from here all the way down to my back. So we'll say from these eight months of understanding my hair, I kind of know a little bit, a little bit in the natural hair care world. I'd love to share that all with y'all if you are interested in knowing. Um, just leave some comments down below, that way I know. Thanks for stopping by my channel if you made it all the way through. Thanks. And I'll see you next time.